When you look at your background in terms of how you grew up under the circumstances in which you grew up, it's so extraordinary because your life is so different to those days. Yeah. I've taken a lot of really good parts from it, you know? I've done my own uh, uh, sifting process. And my parents, you know, I love them so much. And, like, at their core, generally, they are just incredible, beautiful people. They really are. Like, they're in the service of, of people wanting to live their best lives. Yes, you know, it's more tinted with a, a, a religious perspective, and, um, you know, I don't agree necessarily with everything that they agree with. But in my 20s, I had to decide, do I disagree? Do I agree to disagree? Or do I just not have parents? You know? Like, so I, I think I chose agree to disagree on some fundamental stuff that is really, you know, not, not how I see it, but not how they see it but try and have kind of real center, centrist conversation calmly as best as possible. possible. Um, but I, you know, I didn't want to choose between my parents and, and, and that, so I chose, I chose to, like, approach it differently. Only reason not to live. I accept that you were given a lot of love and given a lot as a child, but also you were denied things, you know, like access to pop culture. And uh, <laughs> there were real no-nos, weren't there, in your family because of, sure. of the religious beliefs. Uh, did you feel constrained then as a child? And when you oh, went... Yeah, I mean, you know, when you're 13 and 14 and 15, you think you know everything in the world. And, you know, you start to fight back and you're like, what? I mean, I'm starting to see glimpses of the outside world through different television programs or music or going outside and or having a friend with a different perspective. Yeah, you you know, as you start to develop, you go, oh, well, I'm not, I can't be completely sheltered anymore. And the world is so big and so wide and has so much to offer. I mean, we're like seven and a half billion people that all operate differently in a lot of ways. Um, as far as cultural, you know, coming from a cultural habits. But um, that was an education, you know, that was a rewiring of, of course. It was like, whoa, 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 whoa. There is a lot to life. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I was being served a ton of it. Um, so yeah, I mean, it, it, like for instance, I never like was able to watch MTV or I didn't really know who Madonna was and I couldn't eat Lucky Charms because it was too close, closely associated to Lucifer, which is the devil's name. Can't call it deviled eggs, have to call it angel eggs. Can't even call it the dirt devil vacuum, have to call it the angel vacuum. I mean, it was pretty. It was pretty intense, but I hope I turned out okay. <laughs> I think you did turn out very okay. Are there lingering subconscious shaping that you that you bring oh, to your yeah. uh, adult life? Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Different things I won't do or say. I mean, I don't casually say certain swear words. You know. I can use the F word a lot, but I don't use other words that, uh, you know, can be a little bit more religious based or whatever. Um, but I feel like my parents gave me, raised me with a really good compass and intuition and discernment. Oh my gosh, it's so important to have like discernment in this industry or else you're just going to be taken for the wildest ride ever. So um, I got a lot of that from them, especially my mother. Um, and I'm, I'm happy for it. Like I said earlier, it's like you take the good. Just, just take the good parts. How excited are you about becoming a mum? Do you think she'll have a pretty open upbringing, unlike your own? She, she'll, yeah, she'll get to watch I MTV. So. <laughs> well, I mean, you know, everything in its, in its right timing, but... Um, I think she will have comparatively a very open, and, and that'll, that's the difference I, I foresee is that 
she will be able to make her own choices um, and learn herself, obviously with protection and guidance from her parents. Um, but it'll be her life will be her own discovery. And so maybe she won't feel so like it won't be so uh, necessary to rebel. <laughs> Hello, I'm Tara Brown. Thanks for watching. To keep up with the latest from 60 Minutes Australia, make sure you subscribe to our channel. You can also download the Nine Now app for full episodes and other exclusive 60 Minutes content.